Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in the next update, or potentially the one after, we're going to have an update to the Hornet Air to Ground Radar, and that's the expand modes of the Air to Ground Map Mode. So to get there, we can either go through the Master Navigation Mode, or in this case, we'll go to the Master Air to Ground Mode. And we do that, we'll bring up the Air to Ground Radar here on the right DDI, and we'll go right on the sensor control switch to assign the TDC to it indicated by the diamond up here in the corner. And what we see here is we're in the Persian Gulf map. This is the coast of Iran. Here is Hormuz Island. And let's adjust the contrast a bit so we can make out the train a bit more. Let's go to an 80 mile scale. So what we're seeing here, here is Keshem Island. In the large blob right here is the city of Bandar Abbas and the airfield is just on the right side. And that's gonna be the focus. Now, as you may be painfully aware in map mode, the resolution is uh, not stellar. Uh, you can make up basic geographic features like uh, coastlines, islands, mountain ranges, and cities, but that's about it. And that's where the expand modes come into play. Uh, EXP1, which is a sector map, the lowest le resolution. EXP2, which is a patch map in the middle. And then the highest resolution map in the smallest area is EXP3, which is a synthetic aperture radar or SAR map. And let's do an EXP1 first. We'll go to 40 mile scale again. So we'll press uh, EXP1. And now we have this uh, curved trapezoid symbol on the display, which is an indication of the area we're going to make a sector map of. So to move it around, we'll depress and hold the TDC switch and slew it over the area we want to make a sector map of. And now release the TDC and it creates a sector map. Now with EXP 1 and 2, we can do this out to about uh, 40 miles. For EXP 3, it's about 30 miles. And also, to give it a Doppler frequency shift, you don't want to drive directly at the um, area you want to make a map of. You want to offset to the left or right. Uh, directly ahead, you'll get this blank area, as you can see right here. So in this sector map, we can see a more clear uh, image of Hormuz Island. Bondra Boss, you can actually really start to make out just a little bit of the airfield. So let's uh, drill down to a patch map, EXP2. We have our trapezoid. So again, depress, hold, slew it over the area we want to make a map of, release. Now we can really start to see the airfield take shape. And finally, we'll go to EXP3, SAR map. Again, depress, slew, and release. And here we can see the airfield, the other runways, the taxiways, the parking ramp, and so on. Uh, also at this point, we can uh, depress and hold the TDC, move the crosshair to the area we want, release the center on that area, but also make a target point at that location that we could put a weapon on. Now another way you can uh, create EXP 1, 2, and 3 maps is by using the uh, TDC cursor here place it over the area you want just by slewing the cursor. Back to the same area. And uh, depress this TDC and release. Make a target point there. And now what we could do is we could go directly EXP1, 2, or 3 right at that point. So let's go EXP2 at that target location. And that's just what we did. So, for those of you who have been around like me for a while, this actually uh, may give you memories of the old James F-15 Strike Eagle, a very similar type of technology. Anyhow, folks, I very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.